People keep asking me, what do you think about buying more property when the property prices have already doubled, sometimes tripled? Should I buy more property? So if you look at history, look at your graph of history of property prices. Prices have always gone up. Why? Because of inflation. The value of currency, the value of your money, the value of even dollars, forget lira, has gone down. So also to build new buildings, you need construction material. And the material cost has also risen, has gone up. At the same time, population is increasing, especially countries like Turkey has increase of population, major increase of population, foreigners coming in from everywhere, while countries like even from the Mediterranean, like Italy and many parts of Europe are dying population. They're old, completely old people. So the demand for Turkey is high. And remember, the Turkish population is a young population. Because of this, the economy has a lot of potential to go up. And it produces a lot. It has a lot of hard-working people who produce a lot of fruit, a lot of veg, a lot of lots of lots of other goods. They make their own brand, they make their own white goods, they make their own cars. They just came up with their own, own electric car. While Europe is full of lazy people, lazy population, Turkey has got a very hard-working, very practical uh, population. And because of their country being in the middle of many, many continents, yeah, it's a very important country to the whole world's system. So I believe if you want to safeguard the value of your money and you want it to keep going up in value, then I think buying property is one of the safest bets. I think it's even better than gold because gold just lies there increasing in value while property can at least give you rental income. Of course, if you want to go one step ahead, you could also buy farmland. This is what the major rich people are doing. Bill Gates, biggest owner of farmland in America. And he's bought many lands in many other countries as well. So maybe you've got to think if you want to expand, you want to diversify, then why not buy into the food system? People will always need food. So if anybody is interested in purchasing any sort of land, farmland, property, apartment, building construction, know that we are here waiting for you in Turkey to hold your hand and help you through the entire process in English. And you have to rest assured that we are charging the same as every other Turkish agent. We charge by law 2% commission, which is by law. So you're not paying anything extra. And if by any chance there's some property that you like and you're in love with, you saw it online, you can send it to us and we can also become the agent for that property. And it won't charge you again anything extra. It just means there'll be uh, another agent involved and we'll be sharing the commission. So it's a win-win situation. If anybody wants to join us in Turkey, make some investment here. Make investment for your future. Make investment in a very good, high-quality, European-style Muslim country. One of the few Muslim countries that has a good future ahead of it. Not to mention the beautiful weather. What's the weather like where you are right now? So I think Turkey has multiple benefits, especially if you're a Muslim, because then you've got a backup home, you've got an investment, you've got something for the future, uh, you've got a summer home, you can even move here if you wanted to move here. You've got multiple benefits and ease and comfort in a Muslim country. And another thing you've got to understand is the cost of electric, gas, water. You're talking 50 to 100 pound a month. Council tax, 15 pound a year. Yeah, when you compare that to somewhere like England, where it's literally minimum five to 10 times more expensive. So the cost of living in Turkey is much, much cheaper compared to anywhere in Europe. So this is a reason why it's attracting so many people. You know, there is a lot of savings that people can do when they move to Turkey. And they can still know that they're getting a good standard of living where it's safe, the food is safe, you're not going to get ill so quickly, like in many countries, other countries I don't want to name any, because of course people get offended, so I'm not going to say any, <laughs> but as I said, overall, Turkey seems to be a good future, and if you want to live in it, come join us, we will help you inshallah.